following program is rated mature. It may contain strong, coarse language, violence, and other mature content not appropriate for children under 17. The views expressed in this program may not represent those of this cable station or its employees. It's 9 o'clock on a Friday night, so grab a seat and you just might see something really great. You've got the time, it's not too late to watch a show that will give you laughs and chills and thrills. There's nothing that they haven't tried, cause everything tastes great when it's deep fried. So lock your doors and sit right down, there is no better place to go. Cause it's time for the Not So Late Show Wait, fully extended? Mm -hmm. It's gotta be I... like this See, you don't do it naturally I do it naturally This is like the fart brace position Hmm It is actually a good fart brace position That's cause Jonathan Frakes always shit himself on the show I'm gonna slap you <laughs> <laughs> you already crop dusted once. I gotta dust it next to you with it. Just remember, if I fart... Oh my god, I'm sorry. If I fart uh. one more time, it's probably not a fart. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry. Yeah, it's the uh, Chinese that does it. Anyways, welcome to the Not So Late Show. Uh, it's, uh, once again, another Pat Free Enter Enterprise. The role of Pat will be played by... A fire extinguisher. I say, don't put that down too hard. Yeah. Cause smash! Uh, so... <coughs> You'd have to kick yourself if you did that one. Yeah. <laughs> that bad, huh? I'm All not right. taking any chances. Fair enough. Well, I'd mm -hmm. say it's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Jay, how was your week, sir? It was all right. <laughs> and it was, it <laughs> trips over the camera on his layout. Awesome. <laughs> Doug gets the camera set just so, catches his leg on the camera and twists, <laughs> twists it around. Tremendous. And dies. And then Rob <laughs> comes out here and redoes it anyhow. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, how, how was your week? It was alright. My dad got into a little accident with his car. Wait, no! <laughs> yeah, he's okay. That's all that well, matters. That's good. Car has seen better days. For, what happened? Uh, looks like the, uh, ball joint and tie rod end snapped on the, uh, passenger side wheel. So as he was turning, it kind of went, and then the car kept going in the direction it wanted to. Which well, was right into sucks. a bridge. That's what you get for buying a car from Richard Hammond. Yeah, that's true. From Richard Hammond. Yeah. Oh. He bought a Top Gear uh, leftover. Did he really? Yeah, back that's in 02. That's probably not advisable. Well, well, we that's know that like, now. Yeah, we know that. Now. But all that matters is that he's okay. That's true. Uh, well, Besides that. Well, that's good that he's okay. So what yeah. else have you been up to? Mm, that's it. Fair enough. How about you? Uh, I had a fairly not busy at work, but it really it's all boring shenanigans <laughs> to anyone who really cares at home. And no that's, one. And that's, that's no one. So. Well, that's the thing, you know, you ever do that, like, at, that's, like, one of the most common things everyone does at work or home or whatever. You see someone you haven't seen in, like, I don't know, you know, maybe a month or so, and you're like, hey, how things been, you know, so what have you been up to? And you don't have anything, like, really earth-shattering. It's like, no one, you could tell them what you're doing at work, but frankly, you don't even give a crap. So, you know, and yeah. so it's like, well, this person can't possibly have any hope of giving a crap. So it's like, it's not even worth recounting. So you just say, instead of all, like, the multitude of, like, crazy amount of work that you've done, you just say, eh, nothing, nothing. you know? It's like, what'd you do at school today? Nothing. nothing. What'd you learn? Nothing. nothing. Yeah, so... See anybody? No. no. So... And you, you and I talk to each other da damn near daily and often, so... Yeah, well, the thing is, it's like, so, like, based on the responses anyone gives whenever they walk into each other, we basically assume people walk out in the public for a very short amount of time each day, and then they go home and they seclude themselves in a dark closet with, uh, that's completely soundproof, isolated from, uh, the and they're, they're completely locked in, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, but we know that's not, in fact, the case. Because you know if it's important, it'll be on Facebook. That's true. Mm. Now, l let me also say this. Face oh, okay. It's not Facebook. Very rare. I have, like, three or four people who post stuff on Facebook that are not that is not bragging it is brag book <laughs> come on all right all right I, I it's either brag book or bitch book or complain book I'm or gonna, pissed I'm, off book unless it's like a company like advertising something i'm going to open up my facebook right now i won't name any names but i'm just going to sort of summarize the first few posts i see in here this is true i'm just i'm just opening this up right now completely uh, you know, unscripted. Make sure that you do it by uh, most recent. We want the most yep. recent. Yep. Why am I glad I haven't posted in a while? 
to the audio guy at Radio City who played It Takes Two when Manti Teo was selected by the Chargers. Spot bonus for you. So there's sometimes comedy. Right, so that was funny. That yeah, was good. Um, I, here, oh, here's someone complaining. I have opened Pandora's box and now would like to close it. I should have just looked at it and left it be, but no, I had to open it. Uh, yep. See, that, that's just begging for attention. It's like, I hope somebody asks me what's wrong so I can just vent everything. Because Pretty I much. can say, you asked. Cat picture. You always have to. Have, no, see, I don't like cat pictures unless it's a grumpy kitty. Fair enough. Because grumpy kitty is hilarious. Oh, here's a brag one. Uh, some pics from our Astros Red Sox trip. No one cares. I didn't go. This is just someone on Facebook. True. Why is this? Well, see, we, we can't say anything because, well, when we go to Hawaii... Right, it's going to be but that's Uber what I'm, FU fest. But that's what I'm saying is is the simple fact that we're not. I mean, anyone. It. It, that's what Facebook is. It's not like status updates. It's bragging updates or cat photo update. You can link into my phone if you want Wi-Fi. No, I tried and it didn't work. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, I think you did it wrong. Probably. Hmm. Advertisement. Advertisement. <laughs> Lovely spring evening to walk around eating and drinking with friends. Naked. Now, that sounds like a normal, like, hey, I'm having a good time. Not really too much bragging, except for the part where they add, at Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Yeah. And go fuck yourself. Yep. Uh, here's another one. Now visiting James Monroe's home. Great bragging, I suppose. Um, let's see. And here, th now this is, this is the one person on Facebook who truly, every time they post, mm -hmm. it is pretty much never a brag. There comes a point when I just have to admit that I don't need any more red dresses. I weaned myself off the cherry print. I can stop with the red. I can stop anytime I want. That's just a cry for help. It's true. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. Facebook is brag book. That's all there is to that's it. That's true. Um, I'm actually going through mine just to see how uh, accurate it is, too. Yes, there you go. Oh. Rachel, sweetie posted that on our Facebook page. Thank Tremendous. you, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a little girl holding an at at. Anyways, um, <laughs> an at at. You know the Star Wars like at at instead of a cat cat. An at at. Ah. All right. Do you want to get to geeky news? I sure do. No, you don't. Mm. You sure? Okay. How about you, fire extinguisher pad? Yeah, that'll be fine. Why is Pat Kenny now? Um, oh, I need your, your phone. Fire. Give me your phone. Yeah. Ew. All right, Pat Free Geeky, the sequel. And I spelled sequel right because Yay. I checked. Sequel. All right, first geek story is. It's all about family. Netflix Family Plan? Yeah. All right, I was so going to say, it's your story. You need to know what it is. Well, it's in reverse order from what I put it. Gosh darn it. So, all right, so I'm Net keeping you on your toes. Yes, apparently, or on my ass. What Netflix the hell is this? Net what are you looking at? All right, Netflix. You know what I'm looking at. Uh, oh, oh yeah. ass. No, not that. Uh, Netflix, uh, you normally subscribe to their streaming plan. It's like eight bucks a month or something like that. Unbeknownst to me, in their terms of service, do you know how many streams you can have simultaneously going at once? <sighs> One. Two. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't think it's very strictly enforced, but now they're introducing a family plan. But how many how many different movies can you watch at the same time? Well, you can have multiple people in the same house watching uh, under the same su subscription, watching different shows. Oh. So, not everyone. You know, it's not just one person per household. You know. I don't uh, know what this is. So anyway, what are you? Were you looking for Wi-Fi? No. What are you doing? Free up of the week. Oh, give me what that. are. Hey, well, I know I, it's there. I'm looking at it. I'm just trying oh, to figure hey, out what the hell it is. Oh, it's a game of some sort. Yeah. Anyway, so now they have a new plan, family plan, four streams simultaneously, 12 bucks a month instead of eight bucks a month, but we'll see if anyone actually goes for it. They say only 1% of people are going to sign up. Hey, more awesome 3D stuff. Uh, so 3D liver. Thank you. I'll take two. There we go. Hmm. Uh, no, they uh, scientists have now, because this is what scientists do, uh, they have used 3D printing to create mini human livers using 3D printing. Made out of what? Liver? Tissue? Huh. Presumably. Well, I guess that makes sense if you think about I'm it. I'm going to assume it's a biological creation, so they'll probably have some sort of substrate <laughs> that 
They grow liver cells we on. We made it out of charcoal. Yes, Ooh. delicious. Um, <laughs> uh, so they can now print mini 3D human liver livers that go great with fava beans and a nice uh, Chianti. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. I mean, or just drink to your heart's content because we'll just print you up a new one. I mean, it's kind of cool that they're starting to be able to do that. So, well, they can actually do full-size ones that they can actually implant in people. That'll be uh, that'll be pretty awesome. Not what happened? Lie. Heart shit the bed. Okay, we'll print you up a new one. Yep. It'll be done in a couple days. Cool, I'll be back. That, that, uh, that will be cool. I'm telling you, that's, that's give cool. It 30, give it 30 years, so you just have to exercise until then. Nah. Yeah, I'll we're take, all screwed. I'll take my Hey, chances. Virgin America, not so virgin. Hmm. Uh, so, all right. Have you ever been on a plane? Yes. Seen a pretty girl? Yes. And wanted to buy her lunch anonymously? Because it doesn't already come free with the flight anyhow. Right. Well, hmm. uh, on Virgin America, now you can do that. Ooh. You can now uh, anonymously send notes uh, and drinks and dinner and whatever other food and goodies to any other seat on the plane. And pictures of your snoo? No, no, you cannot send pictures of your penis. So we can't be like uh, that uh, wiener guy in New York? No, I would highly recommend against that. Um, hey, he was like a senator or something. Uh, he's an idiot, that's what he is. No, yeah, whatever. And now he's trying to run for office again, which makes him a bigger idiot. He'll or, be, he wants to be the mayor more, of New York. You know, the, the, sap, uh, the mayor of New York, the sad part is he's second in polling right now amongst Democrats, which makes the freaking people idiots. Anyways. Um, Maybe his wiener could save the world. No. Oh. Uh, but so what you can do is you can you know buy some sort of goodies for that person and you can send them a message like hey meet me by contour concourse 13 e <laughs> meet, meet me in the bathroom yeah well there is that too so Richard Branson says it is at least a 50 percent chance uh, increased chance of getting laid cool so, I don't maybe for if you're Richard Branson uh, hey you can't do that on television what can't you do on television no it's on T-Mobile. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So the you know how the T-Mobile contract, uh, like T-Mobile no contract. Mm -hmm. You know they have their where you sign up for the plans. Well, the problem with that is it's not entirely true, because they have phones and they're subsidized, right? So if you cancel the plan before the phone you finish paying off the subsidized phone, they make you pay for the phone. So it's essentially the same thing as a contract. So, State of Washington don't Attorney ask. General was basically like, you can't do that on television. I don't know. You go that. now! You go now! Uh, so, yeah, they kind of had to pull the advertising campaign. So, uh, just goes to show you, uh, T-Mobile's a bunch of goddamn liars. It you really is kind of, of a contract. You sons of bitches. Yeah. By the you way, lied to me. By the way, you can We're sign up done. for any cell phone service without a contract. All you have to do is pay for the phone in full. Surprise! But what's seven hundred dollars amongst friends? Yeah, well, you know, buying a subsidized iPhone is like eight hundred fifty bucks. So enjoy. Ouch. We don't use this equals plus minus crap at work. Uh, there was actually a recent uh, poll put out. Uh, the how much math do people do at work? And the result came. I don't use any math at work. Do you use any math at work? A ton. <laughs> Believe it or not. Sucker. Yeah. No, um, believe it or not, uh, there are um, about 75% of people only use uh, addition <coughs> and subtraction at work. Uh, a slightly smaller percentage, around 70%, uh, use division and multiplication. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you have to use that at some point. Division and multiplication. At work? Addition, subtraction. For me? Yes. Not even close. What about when, like, calculating times and stuff? For what? How many minutes ago something was? Do you calculate how many minutes ago something was? No. You don't? What do I care? For a report or something? We don't do reports. We tell them stuff. They do their reports. We don't do reports for them. We weren't there. So you just talk on the phone? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous. Uh, all right. So anyways, the short answer is only about 15, 20 percent of people use anything more than addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division. Hmm. I use freaking advanced algebra and calculus. Get I just use a calculator. Uh, anyway. That's still math. Hey, nah. who's hotter than us? The Earth. Wow. All right. So scientists have long said that the center of the Earth is around 5000 degrees Celsius, which that, is, sounds, that feels accurate, which is really, really, really damn hot. What's so that they, in Fahrenheit, Mr. Advanced Calculus? Around... 
Shut up. Carry the two. Uh, 9,000. Okay. Something like that. 9,200. Something, I don't know. Toasty. Uh, 9,000. What's it? 1.2 yeah, 1. 1. 1. 1. to 1? Oh, it's 1. 1.8. 9,000 1.8. We'll go for 1.55. So the thing's around 9,000. Anyways, mm. so based on new estimates, uh, based on seismic readings and stuff, they say the center of the Earth, give or take 500 degrees, is now 6,000 degrees. <sighs> or about the same as the surface of the sun, actually. It's kind of interesting. It's actually hot enough and under enough pressure where it's no longer, it's not liquid, it's not solid. Magma. It is crystalline iron. Ooh. Iron in a crystalline state. Well, if I had known this, it would have been suck it, son. It's true. Hmm. How about that? Who knew iron could be in a crystalline state? Hey, AOL had a music service? <laughs> I guess. Well, they don't anymore. Well, then screw it. Well, you've heard of like no. AOL music and stuff. They did a whole bunch of like no, syndicated. I honest to God had never heard of AOL really? music, they AOL have, music like, services. They syndicated radio shows and stuff. No, nothing. A lot of podcasts. We have these things called Pandora and Sirius XM. Like a lot of times, a lot of them like uh, did a whole bunch of like podcasts and all that sort of stuff. Well, anyways, AOL had a music service, and now they emphasis e on had e -I -I emphasis and, on had, and now they don't have one anymore because they canceled it. Bye bye. They said we're not making any money, so they canceled ended that. canceled it. This is very repetitive, like a children's song. And, and they canceled it, yes. <laughs> You're numbing people's brains, Brad. Uh, that's pretty much what we do on the show. The Not So Late Show. Numbing people's brains for an hour and a half every Friday. Three if you count the replay. Three if you count the replay. But then technically that's Saturday. Numbing people's brains for an hour and a half on Friday and an hour and a half on Saturday very early in the morning for the stoners. Uh, Doug's not paying attention to the draft. Except for the draft. Hey, 787 now with 80% less fire. Yay. Hopefully 100%. Uh, hey, let's take baby stuff. Yeah, all right. Uh, so the You FAA, know one or two are going to catch. So the Boeing has done, finished, completed their testing, and the FAA has signed off on the uh, completion of the tests, and now the 787 can re-enter service. It's a 787 Dreamliner, isn't it? Yes. Cool. Which is really cool. because Hey, maybe we'll take one to Hawaii. You never know. Yeah. Actually, I know we probably won't. Probably not. But uh, it's really cool, though, because it's all, you know, carbon uh, fiber composite, and uh, it's uh, lower cabin pressure, in, or higher cap pressure in the cabin, so you don't get as tired on plant long plane rides, and much bigger windows, and super high tech, and now they won't burst into flames. Reportedly. Reportedly won't burst into flames. We'll now, be the judge of that. Well, I mean, even, you know, planes have problems every day. Even, even there's a whole, there's a service bulletin put out on 737s and Airbus 380s. Airbus 380s had freaking engines blowing up on them. Why is that bad? Yeah, well, the planes were falling out of the sky or anything, but still the engines huh. were kind of going, <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's not supposed to do that. Or is it? Mm. <laughs> Brad gets his wish. Kind of. Kind of. Jay. Kinda. So Volkswagen has introduced the I Beetle, boo. which yay, well boo. it's yay but boo because you got your wish that there's now a built-in dock for I devices. Yay, like but an iPad. Yes. Yes. But it's still on Volkswagens. I don't care about the Volkswagen part. I care because doesn't VW like also they make the Bugatti Veyron, Rob? Uh, I, I think VW is responsible for making the making the Veyron, so they're okay in my book for that. However, the Beatles a piece of shit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the Beatle, I'm, I'm not a fan of any Volkswagen, to be honest. Uh, Beetle is uh, just. I'm sorry. It is like uh, the original was cool. See, they messed with the good concept. The original Beetle was super like simple. Like the '60s. Yes. Okay. Was super simple. Yeah. Cheap to fix. Yeah. Cheap to buy. Yeah. Easy to run. Mm-hmm. The new Beetle, they're trying to make a damn car out of it. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, kind of, except for the fact that they're they're leaving the whole thing about the Beetle was it's supposed to be a people's car. It is not a people's car. It is a... You used to be able to take those things into oceans. Now? Now you'll just say... You're just getting insurance, Paul. Hey, Brad gets no, his... Like oh, 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 Time <laughs> extended. Time extended. No, I mean... But, there, but it's basically just for navigation, for music, for stuff like that. There's no like. I'm not bitching about. I want to change the LED color of my backlight on my dashboard. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh. I'm not purple. bitching about the the i device integration I with the i Beetle. Oh. I am bitching about the fact that they've done that much crazy thing with the Beetle at all. 
Like the Beetle should be an engine, a steering wheel, a gas pedal, and the brake pedal is optional. That's what it should be. It should. It should be <laughs> just the most... a Beetle or all vehicles in general. No, no. Volkswagen makes quality cars. They should make a car that is stripped down to the most basicness of carness. I hope to God that Sean never hears you say those words. Why? Because he'll stab you. Why? Because VWs are horrible. Just saying. Fine. Uh, well, you know why they're horrible? Because they don't make a basic car anymore. Exactly. I'm just saying. So it's their own damn fault. Yeah. It's your fault. Your and brain blit. Brain blit. So kind of a brain tablet? Hmm. Or is it? All right. So what no, is Samsung doing? Samsung has started creating and experimenting with, like, every week we seem to have this, like, brain-controlled something. First we had brain-controlled rats, and now we're having brain-controlled tablets, so you don't even have to touch it anymore. Soon You're we'll have brain-controlled rats controlling brain-controlled tablets. Oh, that'd be cool. I don't Why know if you can make a helmet a, small enough for a rat, covers up, keeps coming with pictures of cheese. Yeah, but Samsung's now exper experimenting with brainwave technology, so you can just put your tablet right here like this. And just control it with your mind. Which would really be bad for me because basically I would just be Jay's having... Jay's tablet always has porn on it! You beat me um, to the punch. What? You beat me to the punch. Yeah, that does, sorry. It, it really would be. It's like, how come 300 windows just open in Chrome? Yeah. And they're all going to porn sites. Ha! Mm. Huh. Must, must be a malfunction. All different. <laughs> but I just want to look up the weather I'm on a K. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's one of the tabs. The other two are ninety nine important. <laughs> All right, next. It's story. true. Another phase out of paper. So, an app called Go Comics has just been released. On Go Comics. Sorry, I just, it just seemed appropriate. Okay. It's been released by Go Comics. No, it's Universal. You click. Oh, there you now go. that might not sound like anything to you, but they're actually behind the syndication of many popular comic books or comic strips, I should say, like uh, Zitz. I think even Garfield. Uh, there's a whole slew of them that they're behind. So it's up to interpretation. But anyway, it's a free app that you can download, and basically you get all the comics in one app now. So you don't even need the Sunday Comics anymore because you can just look at your app. Right. Which Brad's going to download right now. I am. I'm going to do that right this very second. Uh, it should be called Go Comics. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is can, cool. You can go through. Do, were you a big fan of Calvin and Hobbes like I was? It was alright. Yeah. Well, you can go through and uh, you can look at all the uh, Calvin and Hobbes comics going all the way back to the beginning, which is pretty badass. Hmm. Yep. Read. Yeah, like hey, in the yellow sea of gas. We now have 16... Non-gas. But what does it mean? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. New York City has rolled out 16 Nissan oh. Leaf, Leaf, which is the full electric vehicle, taxi cabs. Which is kind of cool because... So you too can be stranded in a taxi cab when it runs out of juice. Basically. Yeah. See, that's the thing because, you know, the technology is still building. We're still getting there. That's cool. But I, I don't know how many miles you can actually get on the Leaf, even if it's just like... Let's say 100. 100 miles on a full charge. Mm -hmm. That's still going to have 16 taxi cabs going 100 miles, which is, what, like four fares maybe, depending on where you're going. Right. And then you have to go wee, wee, wee all the way home just to go recharge. Right. But it's really cool that, you know, you're going to have 16 cars out there that are putting out zero emissions. Right. But you still can only use them for a very limited amount of time because then it'd be like, oh, I want to ride, I want to ride, and then... Uh, no, because I have to go recharge or else I'm going to go... Bleh. Right. So, it is what it is. But hopefully it becomes better. You're up, Slugger. Okay. Hey, another bad decision. Comedy Central is again... Well, they didn't again, uh, but they're, they're canceling, canceling Futurama. Futurama. No! Bad news, everyone. Bad news! <clears throat> Try it again. Wait, let's see. I, I got to do the <clears throat> good news, everyone. Hmm. Bad uh, news, everyone. There you that's go. Still, that's horrible. Man, it's better than My what I got. My voice is screwed, so yeah. Eh, whatever. Good news, everyone. Yeah, so I'm not Bad sure. Bad news, keep, everyone. Keep trying, just not now. So they're canceling Futurama. Their last episode will be September 4th. 
And I hate to see it go. It really is a good series. Good series, everyone! Yes. Uh, which is really... Because it's actually, like, pretty, like, on its own. Didn't really steal from anybody. Right. But yet the Simpsons and everyone else are still out there. But Completely Fut original, everyone. Yeah. I don't know why Futurama just can't hold its own. Or for extended amounts of time. Keep getting cancelled, everyone! Yeah, that's basically what it's coming down to. So, if you're a fan... changing the time slot. Oh, is that why they keep bumping it around? We keep getting later, everyone! Alright, now this is, this is really going downhill. Making the fatties even fatter! Um, <laughs> good news, everyone! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, there's a new app for the Xbox 360 uh, live console world. Huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This really is good news, everyone. <laughs> it's good news for Brad because, actually, there's not even one up by you, is there? No. Like, we're the closest. I'm going to make him drive. <laughs> Pizza Hut now has an app for the Xbox 360. Good news. Everyone. everyone. There you go. So, not only can you sit on your fat ass in your mom's basement playing video games all day, but now you can order pizzas while you're sitting there playing video games. Right. Just making the fat fatter and just increasing the stereotype. <laughs> Any detailed instructions for your delivery? Knock on the door over on the side and wait for someone to come up from the basement. Good news, everyone. Oh, there you go. Well done. So, hey, if you want a pepperoni, meatball, cheese, sausage, and salami pizza while you're playing video games, done. But news only from pizza. Everyone. All great news, everyone. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't win. This is sad because they say no more using... Horrible your news, everyone. <laughs> I have created a monster. Yeah. They said, go ahead, I know you're going to do it anyhow. Good news, everyone. No, actually... No, you can't do bad news. So studies suggest that doing voice to text while you're driving is just as bad as texting while you're driving. Really? Yeah. Because they say you still have to fix corrections in the, tech, the well, speech then to text. It's, then it's not really speech to text. Then it's typing. Well, yeah, that, that's their point. It's like, well, you did Hey, the study's flawed! Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. That the study's flawed, so it's a bunch of crock of... Baba Ganoush? Baba Ganoush. Good for you. Yeah. So, basically, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, but at least if you do speech to text, it may come out as a bunch of junk, but at least you're not using your hands while you're I, writing. I encourage speech to text, if only for the fact that even if it's not right, it will be funny. <laughs> That's true, yeah. too. Ah, uh, yes. that it? Is there more? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, wait, wait. Good news, everyone. There's nice. more! <laughs> Wait, well, this sounds familiar. Good news, anyone. Anyone. <laughs> so if you remember last week, we had a story about... I do. Do you? No. Hmm. Last week, we had a story about blinding people with lasers from BMW. No. Remember that story? Oh, yeah, where they would project the road, like the directions on the, the road in front of you. Yeah, the sat yeah. nav, so it would, like laser a freaking arrow on the road. Well, Google's now taking it a step further than that. Freaking laser beams, man. Not even lasers. What they're doing is they're taking video cameras in the front of your vehicle, putting it into your in-dash navigation. Right. And then putting... Augmented reality over it? Yes. So they're overlaying the graphics on your video? Yes. So pretty soon... Good you, news, everyone! So pretty soon you won't even have to look out the windshield. You can just look at your freaking yes. sat-nav and just drive by that. It's like a video game. Great. Yes, yeah, so... Because that's what we need, a new generation yeah, so, of... Yeah, you don't need to... That whole text to or that old texting while driving yeah we need a new generation of assholes sorry officer i was looking at my radio for the last five minutes <laughs> but i was driving i saw everything that was happening yes it's true but i wanted to see street and view i of got my a street new high view. score <laughs> uh mars is a prick it is a prick i'll let you do this one because well, you, it, you like this one mars really isn't a prick it's more or that it is it has one or not uh -huh. so much that it has one more that NASA drew a penis on Mars. Yeah, that's cool. And I don't mean like a satellite photo, you know, they spotted some weird rock formation, or mm -hmm. that someone photoshopped something obscene into a photograph of Mars. Mm -hmm. It was more like the path, the, was it uh, opportunity? Yeah. Or, curi or curiosity. curiosity? The path that the curiosity Let's see if I can find a picture in 30 seconds. took 
was in the shape of a giant dong. Good news, everyone! Uh, uh, so, uh, did you find a pic of the giant dong? I'm trying. Or at least one we can show on air? No? So anyways, yeah, it was just like, oh, let's take a look at this rock. Loop around. Oh, this rock. Loop around over here. Now back around. Oh, giant penis. It, ser it seriously looks like a... Just search Mars penis. I did. And? I found it. So what are you doing? I'm trying to get the damn thing to load. You and your Android tablet. That's White true. House go boom? Or did it? Wait, what? Oh, that was the AP News. Yeah, all right. Well, don't tell me. Tell them. I already know the story. Oh, yeah. All right. So this, there's a whole... The Syrian hackers who hacked into the AP News wire on Twitter, and they were like... Uh, they reported that there were two explosions at the White House, President Obama injured. Of course, that was not true. It's not true now. Because you would have known about it by now. Yes. Uh, but what it caused was a huge, like, 200-some-odd point dip in the Dow for a couple minutes. So, like, all of a sudden, do, 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 do. How, AP Newswire new hacked. How, wait, how horrible is that? Apple does not as well as they thought. The Dow drops, like, 500 points. The White House gets blown up and, eh, 200 points. <laughs> you, nah, well, there's a big difference well, here. Fact, yes, it went down 500 points for Apple, but we're talking in the span of just a couple minutes for, uh... All right, my thing's being a jerk, so for the trying. For Dow. You know, we're talking just a couple minutes before they got on there and corrected it. So, of course, that wasn't true. If he corrected it, raises a question uh, about security on Twitter, though. And Apple does something kind of cool. Good news! <laughs> so, Apple has put in another patent. Actually, the patent has been... Nice catch. Has been out there for about four years. And what they want to do is they want to make an app that takes a video game. And as you play through it, it's actually putting it through this whole... <laughs> Internally through the game, right? And when you this whole <laughs> thanks for clarifying. Yeah, it's a <laughs> thing, you know. But at the end, when you finish the game and after you made all your choices throughout the game as to which path to go down, basically it takes everything you just did and turns it into a comic book. Cool, except for the fact that Apple doesn't really make games. Details. Yeah, that's minor, a, that's minor kind details. Of a they have a bunch of you know cool apps. That are games, you know, like... No, they don't make any. Uh, no, so actually, the one they used as a demo in their thing was Mass Effect. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, they actually had a, wait, they actually had a demo of it? Well, in the patent application oh, from well. 2009. Well, that doesn't work. Oh, well. But it, it could be kind of cool. I mean... Apple, I fart in your general direction. It's coming! <laughs> Why? It was funny. <laughs> no, Even no it's horrible. It's funny. Go on. No, it's horrible. It smells like rotting flesh. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> Go on. So Xbox has come up when their big announcement. It's coming on May twenty first, and no one knows what it is. No, that's not true. We know it's exactly. It's eight core, one point six gigahertz per core, with eight gigs of RAM, a five hundred gig hard drive, HDMI in or out. No word yet on uh, whether or not you can play used games. It's supposed to be sort of like a take your television feed. It's supposed to be your whole media console entertainment center. The controller is supposed to be largely unchanged. Uh, it, they're still going to have physical media to uh, load in there. And all games will be installed onto the hard drive so that they can play faster. And that. Oh, and it's going to have like. Um, an 800 megahertz GPU graphics processing unit chip with um, I don't know, like two or three gigs of uh, graphics memory. Something and like Brad that. says? Sure. Cool. And the specs between that and the PlayStation are basically the same. However, if they don't allow used games or they have the requirement of always on for the uh, internet, uh, that will be deal, kill deal killer for me. Uh, Lara. Read it, Mirror. Your mother. Harold. Yes. Hurl? Yes. You spelled it wrong. That's true. <laughs> Although I typed that like a month Your ago. Your mother, Hurl. Uh, Your mother, who's, Harold. Who's this Hurl? Spell my name wrong. That's what you get. So he went one too far, didn't he? Yeah, he went one too far yeah, again. There you go. I followed directions. I was just Ha! He followed orders. I didn't know she was your cousin. And he didn't know she Neither was your cousin. Neither did I. Yes. 
All right, so that was geeky news. That was week. geeky news, and Rob has found some sort of weird thing on his. I don't know what the hell he's doing in there. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, uh, photo, uh, uh, there you go. But the free app of the week is. Is. I don't know. It's the bee thingy. I know. Bee leader. Okay. It looks like a game. I don't know what it is. It sure is. It's a game about bees. Well, here's the description. But they're friendly bees. Bee leader, it's busy time. The bees need you. Become a bee leader and help the bees fill their hives with honey. Uh, App Store Best of 2012. Editor's Choice on uh, New Zealand, Australian, and Brazilian app stores. A Brazilian? Yes. All right. And there you go. Fly around the world and hover over flowers. Click nectar. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It's free. Go get it. Go download it. Play it for five minutes. Realize it's boring as hell and move along. Yeah. It's about what it comes down to. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, anything to numb your mind to get you through the day. Yeah. Speaking of which, time for our news. Okay. All right. Anything about boobies that I can read? I don't know. But hey, did you know American cars are huge status symbols in China, uh, the world's biggest auto market? And no other brand is hotter there than Buick. They really have low standards, don't they? Uh, Business Insider reports the Buick Excel, the Verano here, was the leading passenger car in China in 2011, when 254,000 units were sold. The next... Why do they call them units? They're freaking cars. It's not like a unit's like 1.25 cars. You or know? is it? They call they say units. It's a freaking car when two hundred and fifty four thousand cars were sold. Well, so for this, just replace the word unit with car. I'm just saying they should stop calling it units and start calling it cars. It's well, a stop complaining car. and just say car. Uh, I'm not complaining. I'll say car, but they're not saying car. Oh, they should say car. Just read the story. Fine. <sighs> uh, the next year, Buick's China sales jumped eight percent. Hmm. JD Power and Associates predicts total Buick sales in China could hit one million by 2016. Meh. The attraction of Buicks in China derives from its prestige as the choice of business people and government officials, the power brokers. Chinese executives are partial to minivans, which don't come with the kid hauling image they have here, and which Buick also redesigned for the market, making them roomier and more luxurious. While Buick sales are slowly rebounding here in the States, Business Insider says China is now the focus for the brand. How horrible. All right. Hey, big TV story uh, yesterday was none other than Simon Cowell was thinking about hiring Jennifer Love Hewitt to be an X Factor judge. I was thinking about Jennifer Love Hewitt after she was on Ellen. There you go. As you know, Britney Spears is leaving the show and will need to be replaced. Uh, source told US or Us Weekly, Simon's very interested and also said Destiny's Child star Kelly Rowland and Reba McIntyre uh, were also being considered. I don't remember Reba McIntyre being in Destiny's Child. No. Oh. All of which were, although that would be entertaining. That would be All entertaining. All of which apparently came as news to Simon since the PR flag for the show later told the Huffington Post, no decisions have been made about the panel. Simon and Demi uh, Lovato are the only judges confirmed on the panel so far. This is all just speculation. There you go. How is Demi Lovato a judge? I don't know. She's 22 and... But survey says si Simon probably looked at it, uh, looked at Jennifer Love Hewitt after her Ellen appearance, so... Uh, oh, she did look great. Hey, how about this trend alert? It's officially cool to wear mom jeans again. Thank God. I've got like 20 pairs <laughs> sitting in my closet. Uh, the comeback of all things 90s fashion means high-waisted jeans are trendy again. But now Fashionista says the trendiest of trendies are of trendy denim sellers. Top Shop is selling Moto Bleach Acid Mom Jeans. They also come in a washed-out black. Um, great. All right, let's be honest. No one cares here. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, but wait, there's the section of how to wear mom jeans. Um, great. That's really a problem. I, even the women in the audience that are watching the show, if you're out there, they probably even don't give a flying you-know-what about... Uh, but these are actually funny. Okay. Mo go. Mom jeans are the baggy, comfortable, super high-waisted, light wash denim jeans made famous by the Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, Saturday Night Live skit. Okay. The high waist caused the illusion of teacher butt. Really? Teacher butt? That's actually a classification of style now. A long, flat, flat butt, butt. In case you were wondering. I. Why do you want a long, flat butt? I like a nice, round apple of a hiney, as Ed... Well, as uh, Al Bundy would say. Perhaps they're trying to fend off advances by Jason Rayback. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> Most jeans uh, accentuate the waist. Because, you know, when I'm looking at a woman, I'm like, wow, she's really cute. Look at the waist on her. Look how extenuated it is. Ooh. 
It looks best with tight shirts you can tuck in or crop top. Okay. Mom jeans also work with any type of shoe. So you can wear heels, flats, platform. Uh, it says a heel will look vampy. What the hell does that need, mean? Wait, we must go to our dictionary source, Doug. Doug! Doug, what does vampy mean what other is, than television terms? Is that like, will it make you look like a vampire? No. Uh, no, I think it makes you look like a diva. A diva? Like, uh, like, like a hippie trendy diva, I think is what they're talking about. Vampy is diva-ish. Vampire. Good to know. <laughs> And according to a new data out from Swirl.com, which is a shopping app, about 53% of women say they prefer shopping in-store to shopping via smartphone or laptop. Mm. Actually, this is a good question. All right. This doesn't, this doesn't actually have uh, any statistics here for this. Have you, other than apps and food, have you ever actually ordered a product from a smartphone via smartphone? From a smartphone? Like, not your home computer. Not your home computer. Have you actually ordered something that was shipped to your house? You know, whether it be a computer part, a flashlight. Anything. Just flowers anything. for mom. A sock. Sock. Mother's Day coming up, don't forget. May 12th. Have you ever ordered anything from a phone? No, and I'll tell you exactly why. Why? Because no matter how hard you try, trying to get into all the little fields to put all your information in are a pain in the ass. Well, what about what about the like the little like they have apps now? Like Newegg's got an app. They're uh, still a pain in the ass. Because you have to go. Because even if it's in the app, it's like okay, click on the field. <laughs> yeah. And there's no tab button, so you can't just go to the next field. So now you have to click out of that, scroll up, click the next field, last name. You're absolutely right. Out, scroll in. Put in your address, and so now you have to go to your numbers, put in the numbers, then go back to your alphas. Address. Out. In. It's a pain in the ass. I'd rather just go home, sit on my desktop, and go... Di -di 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 -di. I've Tap, done it a couple times when I absolutely had to buy something then and there. Right. Gener that, generally, in there. Given, the, given the choice, I What will, was on Boot today? Kind of thing, uh, not, mm, nothing good. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Well, anyways, 53% 53 of women say they prefer shopping in-store or via... Uh, to shopping via smartphone or a laptop. Researchers with the What Women Want When Apparel Shopping found most still turn to friends, family, rather than mobile apps or websites to make styling decisions. In fact, only 1% of those surveyed say they prefer shopping via smartphone uh, than shopping in store. The women surveyed still research uh, products online and 22% of females turn to mobile sites and apps when a product isn't available in store. Half of them say they'd Share their location, personal information for in-store credits, flash sales, or other personalized offers. For sh clothes shopping, the only area where online tops uh, brick and mortar is not dealing with all those pesky other shoppers. 84% say crowns and 70% uh, say transportation parking issues are pains when shopping in-store. True. In general, I try not to go to the store. I want to read the next one. Go for it. Hey, ladies. What is this, a Chevy Chase show where he's just... Yeah, just do that the whole time. Have you ever felt the surge of excitement that comes with love at first sight? Congratulations, you're an idiot. No, wait. Congratulations, you're in the minority. Hmm, what's going on here? Cosmopolitan Magazine, the source for your everything. Whatever. Reports a new study shows that just 28% of females have gone head over heels without even speaking compared to a whopping 48% of men. Because men like anything with a pulse. Have you ever gone head over heels, gone ha 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 ha? Like completely obsessed, like I must know this girl and marry her tomorrow? Yes. Not even close. There you go. Because everybody's twisted. Hi. Does this mean that dudes are true romantics? Perhaps. But it could also show that they're just idiots. <laughs> or more impulsive. The same study shows that a third of guys have had sex with another woman while in a relationship compared to just 90% of the fairer sex. There you go. You know, you always wonder how that works out, though. If, like, you know, someone's like, it was love at first sight. How did it work out? You wonder, you wonder the statistics of that versus, you know, meeting some other way. 1%. There you go. Uh, in a freak twist of fate, one survivor of the Boston bombing also survived the Virginia Tech massacre of 2007. Kelly Willard was a student at Virginia Tech at the time and found herself on lockdown for 12 hours, just two buildings away from the shooter. 
Six years later, she ran the Boston Marathon for the first time and was two blocks away when the bombs went off last Monday. After the mass shooting, quote, you think that nothing like that will ever happen again, she says, I definitely had flashbacks of Virginia Tech. Willard, who's from Ohio, says her husband was nearby during both incidents and she had a hard time reaching him. You feel very blessed at the end to come through it okay, but it is very scary when it's happening. She also realized the attack's going to happen anywhere, a small town like Blacksburg, Virginia, than a big city like Boston. You just have to keep on living and do what you love to do. But not in public. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, does anyone care about Kim Kardashian? No, they don't! If I was that chick, I'd be playing the lottery. I'll tell you that right there now. There you go. Hey, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, hey, the best TV story uh, the other day may have come from Radar Online, which claims Chloe Kardashian. Oh, well, more Kardashian junk. Uh, Chris Jenner may have gotten her fired from the X Factor. <laughs> Suck it. She apparently suggested to producers <laughs> that they should dump Mario Lopez as the show's host and replace him with one of her other daughters. <laughs> yeah. Mario, Mario Lopez is going to be shanking some people rather soon. Either Kim or Courtney. Claiming the chemistry between Mario and Chloe just didn't work and one of her other daughters would be a better fit. The producers apparently agreed that there was no chemistry but fired Chloe instead. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. For her part, Chris thinks <coughs> Chloe wasn't fired from the show. She had to leave due to a busy schedule. Yeah, she has a busy schedule of doing nothing. Man, I'm busy eating chocolate. Uh, and, oh, guess what? Oh, tell uh, me. This was on uh, Thursday. Yesterday. Television's rating sweeps began. Which means we are pulling out all the stops on the Not So Late Show and reading this new story about Sleeps Week. In television... We need, like, flashing lights the and May, stuff. <laughs> the May Sleeps, as they're called, even though they start on... Woo! Uh, uh, ah, bright uh, light! Woo! Bright light! Oh, that was... Ah, no! Ah, bright light! We're uh. pulling out all the stops. Flicking that switch on and off. Uh, in television, the May Sleeps, as they're called, even though they start Thursday... Is one of the most critical times of the year for networks and local stations. It's a month-long period in which in-depth audience measurement is taken. So naturally, network and local stations pour vast resources into season finales. And USA Today has actually a rundown of some of those highlights. Yay. Uh, specials like the Billboard Music Awards uh, mm -hmm. and, of course, special news segments on local Meh. news. All in an attempt to attract viewers. The more eyeballs the station gets, the more money can charge for advertising. We all know the drill. Junk. Of course, whether the stories that draw viewers to local TV news are high-quality investigations or sensational stunts varies. So look for your local news station to run things like what some car dealers don't want you to know. The questionable and in some cases criminal business practices on the part of several local car dealers, complete with undercover video, Yay. and felons in daycare. Hmm. Uh, yes, after the story of a drug dealer arrested at his home, which also turned out to be a daycare center. Uh, one moment. Bless you. <coughs> Times two. Thank you. Patrick? Sweet yeah, that's our big sweet sweet thing. Me sneezing. Sneezing. Wait, hold on. Um, uh, ah! At you. <laughs> um, we find out that dozens of criminals are living in homes that double as child daycare centers, unbeknownst to law enforcement officers. Yeah, because by no law that says you actually have to register or anything. Think it's impossible? It actually happened in Orlando way back in 2000 and ran on WKMG TV. And how about Life Among the Homeless? That's riveting. Where your intrepid investigative reporter spends a week undercover. As a vagrant to experience what life is like for the city's homeless population, panhandling during the day, sleeping under a bridge at night, and bringing the experience to your living room, probably along with some wisecrack of how, how great it is to finally take a shower. So strap in, gear up, and remember, your sink could be killing you. You know, if you sell all that camera equipment, you can afford an apartment. Yeah, there you go. That's true. Yes. So we want to keep reading, or we want to start doing some top uh, three? All right. Top uh, three. So, Jay. What is our top three? Top three fruits. No. No. No, no. Top three bananas you've ever eaten in your life. One, two, and three. Good call. Moving along. Hawaiian banana. Hawaiian banana and another Hawaiian banana. Moving along. A Chilean banana. Ooh, I guess that one's price right. Go on. How about the top three things you just can't unsee? Okay. Top three things that you can't unsee. Mm-hmm. Um. I got one. 
Go for it. Walking in on your grandparents doing it. You We're just skipping right over parents to grandparents. Well, parents are... But grandparents, even worse. Old, wrinkly... No, you know what you just did right there? What did I did? All right, that's like... Sir, we've won the war! Drop the bomb. <laughs> is, this, is this Brad's analogy of the week? It doesn't have to be, but... <laughs> I'm just saying, you could have gone with the walking in on the parents, and you could have just, you pretty much just could have sewed up number one right there. But you're like, you know, like, no, no, that's okay. We're going to holocaust this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're going genocide, kids. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> sweeps uh, week. Yeah, sweeps Can't remember that. Uh, so, walk, did this actually happen to you? No. Oh, thank God. I wonder if that's ever actually happened to Oh, you. yeah. It has happened. If it's happened to you, call 361-9985 and talk to one of the people in the studio. Because we want to know if this has actually happened to anyone. Has anyone ever walked in on their grandparents... Snoo snooing. ...getting it on? Mm-hmm. God, I hope not. You can't unsee that. They don't have to be your grandparents. They don't have to be How your... How about pa- any relatives? Any grandparent- no, well, relatives but doesn't count. Really, really old people. Really, really old people. Yeah. Wait, did this happen to you or something? That seems oddly specific, Rob. see it, but I was in the car when it happened. Wait, you were in the car when what happened? Wait, so when someone was having sex? Two old people were having sex and you were in the car? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was in college. You were in yeah. college? All right, we were going to put some stupid... We were going to hang a Christmas tree in what is now... Well, he's now my brother-in-law. We were going to hang a Christmas tree upside down in his yard. Okay. So we parked <laughs> up the street from his house. Okay. Is that like right? an Antichrist thing? I was I, w- I was a getaway driver. <laughs> couple of us, couple of the other ones got out of the car to get the tree and to run down the road and put it in the yard. Right. We couldn't do it because one of them just happened to look over and see two old people naked in their living room, lights on, blinds open. He could not stop laughing. <laughs> we had no idea what was wrong for like thirty minutes. He just could not laugh or talk. That's tremendous. So. If anyone's actually run into that, because I'm curious, it's kind of like a freaking unicorn. 361-9985, 361-9985. Give us a call. Let us know if you've actually seen that, because that is, that is. And we will actually offer you sympathy. psychiatric help. Yeah, that too. Uh, so It'll be from us, but you know, whatever. So pretty much you'll end up more damaged, but that's fine. Um, other things you can't unsee. Uh... Like horrific traffic accidents, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I mean that that is something you just can't unsee. Yeah, I mean like something like really gruesome or something like that, you know? Oh yeah, Transformers. Transformers. <laughs> uh, you can't unsee yep. Transformers. Yeah, just horrible movies. Yep. Uh, what else, Jay? I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Not damn. All right, fine. Uh, what what else? What else is there out there that you can't unsee? Um, someone doing something incredibly stupid. Like, you've ever run into that scenario when you're like... Sometimes, we were talking about this last week, when, when someone does something so stupid, it's memorize, mesmerizing. Mm-hmm. But sometimes they take it a step further, and you just you just feel dumber for having watched it. You're like, no, take take it back. Take it back! Because it was so dumb. Yeah, no, there's a... Yeah, there, there's some real stupidity out there. Yeah. And just some of it you, you can't unsee. Yeah, what else you got? How about just, like, two really ugly people making out? No snooze snooing, but just, like, two just ugly people just, like, in a public place. You're just like... Oh my god, I cannot unsee this. Okay. I'd yeah, like to. I can to. see that. Um, fair enough. All right, um, you have two, me, two ugly people making out. What else you got? There's actually one on FML that I actually laughed at. I want to see if I can find it. Okay. How about this? The Dodge Viper logo turned upside down. Looks like Daffy Duck. Really? I would actually like some pictorial evidence of this. 
I don't know if I quite see it. You don't see freaking the beak and the eye? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I now see Now you can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So you can't. Yeah, you, have, you ever noticed that before? The arrow in the FedEx logo. I can't see that now, yeah. Uh, three. Sean Connery wearing a banana hammock and Zardoz. Yes, Sean Connery wearing banana hammock and Zardoz, yes. Can't unsee that. You cannot unsee that. How about, how about when pi, like 3.14, the numerical pi, mm -hmm. you put it backwards, it looks like it spells pi. Whoa. I don't know That's, if I need to unsee that. Well, I'm just saying... Not stuff you want to unsee, just stuff you can't oh, unsee. Oh, here it is. So this isn't mine. This is from FML.com. If you know what FML is, you obviously haven't been on the internet for more than a day. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. So anyway. I will not say this on television, but that is funny. Really? Come on, that's still, really? Come on, that's still funny. That, that is funny. Okay, so someone anonymously... Wrote on FML.com. Uh huh. Today I walked in on my brother giving his best friend a hand job. I can't unsee this. That's messed up. That's really messed up. So basically, finding and, and just to prove to you, right there. Wow. It is there. The question is, is his best friend of the same or opposite sex? Well, if his brother gave his. I mean, if it's his brother, you know it's a boy, and if he's giving the best friend a hand job, he must have the equipment in which to receive hand job. So it would be boy and boy. Oh, that's not right. Mm. So either that, or they're in the ye old eleven to twelve. It's one of those things. Exper experimental so phase. I guess you know if if they're gay, that's their thing. That's well, fine, that's cool. But, but when you walk in on it. When you walk hey guys, you want to go play Bay? Hey, oh boy, I'm gonna go gouge my eyes out. Yeah, it's one of those things. Is when it's unexpected, you know. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit. Or if you walk in, or like if you walk into a bathroom, you see someone with like three mirrors trying to like shave some unseen, obscene part of their body. It's like, uh, oh, they almost got it, and you're just like, I cannot unsee this. I am going to live with this for the rest of my life. Right. FML. How about the Chicago Bulls logo? Looks like a robot reading a book upside down. <laughs> Where are you coming up with this? I don't know, but you can't see it now! Well, I will give you that. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, it truly does. You can look it up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but, I mean, th those are just weird things. These, these have to be, like, just things It's like, this is just going to live how with about, me for the rest of my life. How about Barney and Nelson... Nelson? From The Simpsons? Oh, okay. Barney Nelson. Same shirt, same shorts, same general look. No, not making the connection? What am I unseeing? You can't unsee it. It's obviously Nelson is Barney's son. No? No. It, there's nothing graphic, obscene, or just want to gouge your eyes out about that. Well, it's not a want to gouge your eyes out type of thing. It's more No, of something you just can't unsee is just something that is just absolutely horrible, disgusting, sick, or nothing you ever wanted to see in your life. John Travolta. Now that you can't unsee. I'm just saying. Or Stephen Baldwin. Stephen, yes. That can't well. unsee that. Uh, let's how, see. how about just terrible movies that just wasted hours of your life? Yeah. Like, just, like Transformers. Like Transformers. Yeah. Just pure, horrible things. I'm tired of these mother effing Transformers on this mother effing movie screen. This is true. Yeah. Can't unsee that. I would rather watch Snakes on a Plane ten times over than Transformers. I'm just saying. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. That's what I'm go. saying. What else can you not unsee? Every old people in bikinis. I'm sorry, that's still Trump by old people doing it. Well, yeah, but just seeing someone in a some like 80 year old woman in a bikini where things are just not where they used to be. All right, fair enough. You can't unsee that. Can't unsee. No. Fat dude wearing a banana hammock. 
Ooh. <laughs> can't unsee that either. Yeah, you can't Ooh. unsee that. Yep. How about uh, Brad doing shirtless DDR? No, I can't unsee that That's either. That's true. Yeah. None of us can unsee that. Well, isn't that pretty much, that's pretty much almost equivalent with someone walking in a banana hammock, except I still had my pants on. At that point. At that point, yeah. Because after the camera stopped, that's when you took them off. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what else? Doug, is there anything you can't unsee? Um, How about a woman giving birth? If you ever, did, if you ever see that, you that, can't Doug? unsee that. When, women, give, women giving birth. You, you probably have experience with this. Not the giving birth part, but the observing part. Well. No, because... Uh, <laughs> Did you see Sweetie give birth? Were it you there? A, it was a C-section, and, and there oh, was now a, you definitely can't unsee it. Well, but <laughs> but we saw the um, we saw the videos in Lamaze, and that I cannot unsee. That was horrible. The video in, in Lamaze of the C-section. Lamaze class, uh, these graphic videos about childbirth, and you're right. I, that's a good one. I cannot unsee that. Did they you ever see those in seventh grade? Because like fifth grade, you saw the sex video of this is the penis and this is I the think vagina. I unsaw them by blocking them out of my memory. <laughs> Welcome back! You can unsee them! Although, the Hicks symbols thing I really like. Like the FedEx logo and stuff, that's true. Once you see something that's hidden, you can't... Like the Hartford Whalers? Yeah, exactly. Like the H and the Whalers, right? Yeah. The the upside down bowl. Once you see this stuff hidden in a picture, it's not hidden anymore. You see it every time. Yep. What about the penises in the Little Mermaid cover? Uh, no, you're just seeing stuff. Nope, that's there. (laughs) Has been proven and seen. You've never it's seen been that? Pr- it's been proven that millions of people have dirty minds. Well, when you look at the picture and it's standing there, when you look at it, I mean, you can't really deny it. Have you never seen that? I know what you're talking about. But you've never seen it. No. I've seen what you're talking about. I suppose you could assume it would be that. But you're making a giant leap. Is it a now, if there leap? were a fountain on the top of that tower, you, you might have... <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, I got where you're going. It took me a second, but there you go. Um, all right. I, I'm going to say a woman giving birth. You just can't. I mean, yes, it's the beauty of childbirth, but you it's still. It's a miracle. I didn't throw up. No, that, uh, that's true. <laughs> from smelling this fart. Um, again? <laughs> really? Uh, I'm never buying you Chinese again. Uh, but it's not the Chinese. <sighs> It was the pie. Cherry pie. Anyways, um, you going to be okay over there? No. Fair enough. All right, so are we good to come up with our top three list at this point? You think we have enough? Well, what else is there that, that we cannot see? That's what I'm trying to think. There you go. This is why we should think of top threes a little sooner than five minutes before the show. True. Mm. All right, number one. Old people doing it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't unsee that. Can't unsee that. Number two. I'm going to put snoo snooing, though. Childbirth. Or cesarean section. This, I'll put a woman giving birth. Yep. Uh, number three. Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable mentions. Go to Sean Connery in the banana ham. Er, in. Uh, Sean Connery from Zardoff. I don't know how the hell you spell that. Z A R D O Z. Zardoz. Z A R D O Z. Sean Connery and Zardoz in the banana hammock. And. How do you spell hammock? O C K? Uh, so. Yeah. And what is our other honorable mention? Pat. Just Pat? Just Pat. Just can't unsee Pat? Can't unsee Pat. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Hey, how about this? Tell me. You know how priests care for everyone in their flock as their own? Yes. Well, how about a freaking badger? Badger, 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 uh, by the way, because we never do this in the show when we really should, because we just assume people know who we are. We We're never... not going to wear pants. No, no, we never, we never do any mid-show resets, ever. Like, 
Hi, I'm Mark. Brad Griswold. That's Jason Rayback. Of course, it's swapped around with the camera. So I'm Brad Griswold. That's Jason Rayback. Here, watch this. Hey, Doug? Yes? Center camera? Oh. Hey, Rob? Yeah? Lower third? Am I? Please? I gotta play it. Well, I know. Uh -huh. Well, see, we just have digital technical ways of doing this. We could. Watch, just give me a minute. Wait for it. Because I caught him off guard. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Will we that, never do any mature, mature resets? Because we don't have to. Why? Because everyone knows who we are? Yes. No, we gave don't. them nine different things to go look at so they can see who we are. <laughs> Well, the, no, the thing is, if anyone's ever talked, like, because occasionally you get recognized out in public, be like, hey, you're, you're that guy from that show. You're dealing with an audience of, at most, 30,000 people. Right. Unlike no, if... most, it's about 12 or 13. There you go. Right, yeah, 12 that's, or 13. That's accurate. But the fact of the matter is, I've never had anyone go, hey, I, actually, I take that back. I've had, like, one or two people come up, hey, you're Brad. All the other times, it's, you're that guy. But at least you're recognized as being someone. That's true. I am that guy. This is why I'm that guy. And I'm that other guy. Yeah. Or that's the true. other guy. The, the other guy. Not that other guy. Yeah. No. And uh, Pat's what's his face on a fire <laughs> and what, shirt. And what's his face? Yes. Uh, well, anyways, a priest in Poland is raping a baby badger as as his own. Badger. Ba Honey badger, badger don't badger. care. Honey badger don't give a shit. Uh, Father Silwef is is like it's like Sylvester's pronouncing his own name. It's Sylvester. That's Where tremendous. Are we? Bottom of the page. Woo. It's Sylvester Holzlanowski. Uh, found the orphaned cub outside his church during renovation work. He says, I decided she was a gift from God and that I had no choice but to take her in. Is this like Flanders? F Flanders? <laughs> uh, Father Sylvester is gas asking parishioners to help him set up a refugee center for the badger, now nicknamed Berta. Badger, 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 bishop, badger. bishop. Well, that's outdated. Oh, hey, in case you forgot, <laughs> uh, Wednesday was uh, National Secretary's Day. Or as they now call it, Administrative Professionals Day. They're called APs, or AAs for short. Or as we like to call it. Associate Producers and Alcoholics Anonymous? No, as we like to call now, if you're snoo-snooing your secretary, don't forget her to buy her something to keep her silent. <laughs> It's a day set aside for all those people who take the grief from their bosses for 364 days a year. So here's one day to make up for it. <laughs> the same polls on the subject are done every year and routinely offer the same message. If you're a boss, don't send flowers or give them a box of candy. Most administrative professionals, usually near three quarters, would rather have the cash or some kind of gift certificate. Eh, some say they've gotten socks, a sandbox, or a whistle as presents from boss. Uh... Last year, one told an American Express survey she received a canister of mace, which she used on the boss. Now, uh, flowers <laughs> seem to be the most popular cool. gift. Flowers rank it as the third busiest day behind Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Uh, something just as easy, lunch at a nice restaurant, oh, and an extended lunch hour. Uh, you can pick up your dry cleaning, your own dry cleaning for a change. That's right. Damn it. Hey, uh, is Eva Longoria fishing off the company pier? Yes. Uh, her new dating show, Ready for Love, just got the axe. After three episodes. Yep, but rumors have been swirling. The former Desperate Housewife is actually dating one of the contestants. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Uh, even denied hooking up with... Ah, oh, sweet, 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 sweet! Ah! Uh, uh, what? Episode title, Sweet, Sweet, Ah? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ernesto Argaletto. Ernesto. Ernesto Ar It's Arguello, but whatever. On Twitter, but TMZ.com reports the architectural engineer has been staying at her Los Angeles home along with fellow bachelor Tim Lopez from the Plain White Tees. And we have more proof that life ain't always glamorous on the catwalk. Two contestants featured on the German version of the next model. You will be the next model. You are the beautiful are battling a nasty case of head lice. RadarOnline.com reports Heidi Klum confirmed the outbreak, saying that 16-year-old contestant Anna Maria brought a little souvenir from New York, but another hopeful name, Sabrina, helped her get rid of those pesky little buggers. And how about this? Oh, this one. 
Oh, I want to wow. do this one. I want to do this it. one. A shocking story out of Sweden where modeling agencies are recruiting fresh new talent oh, from... Oh, good. From where? That's always good that they're getting fresh new talent, but where are they getting it from? The fish market. No. From Craigslist? No. High schools? No. Then I don't know where. Tell Would me, Would you Jay. believe local anorexia clinics? Really? Anorexia? Yes. I mean, in a way, that that's sick, but it kind of makes sense, considering <laughs> half the models are anorexic anyways. Yeah, at least they're making So money. they're just starting off there? <laughs> <laughs> Swedish doctors are outraged over reports that patients at the Stockholm Center for Eating Disorders have been approached by one or several agencies looking to recruit new models. We think this is repugnant, said the clinic's chief medical officer. It sends the wrong signals when the girls are being treated for eating disorders. Apparently, there's no law against doing so. Which... Yeah, at least that, that's were, like saying somebody that's bipolar can't go and be a model. It's a mental disorder. It's a disorder. What's the difference? Yeah, but usually the job doesn't encourage you to be bipolar. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> that's very arrogant of you. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're a dick now. <laughs> Episode title: Bipolar Badger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> write that one down. Uh, all right. Bipolar, what? Bipolar ba badger. Uh, <laughs> yes. It's cute and cuddly and rips your face off. I will see you like in hell, show. bastard. Uh, all right. Uh, at least they were recruiting, though. They could have just used a leaf flower to get them, round them up in a pile of <laughs> stuff into a leaf bag. I will see you um, in hell, you bastard. I'm just saying, in case anyone out, out there is thinking of being anorexic or whatnot, not that it's really something they think of as kind of a mental disorder. That being said, uh, maybe it's just me. I don't. I, maybe it's just me, but if you've ever seen anyone who's actually like truly anorexic, that's that's not true beauty. Got to put a little meat on their bones. I'm just saying. Yeah. Get the agreement from Jay. So remember, don't be anorexic or bulimic. I mean, be you. Half the girls that are on the catwalk as it is have. Look anorexic to begin with, so... Yeah, you look at him and you're like, an arm's gonna fall off. It could very well. Yeah. Uh, hey, Madonna, Madonna, hey. Madonna is in trouble with the Russian tax man. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter says eight months after her concert in St. Petersburg, a Russian lawmaker claims Madonna, 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 Madonna. didn't pay taxes on the $1.1 million she made from the show. And that she was in the country on the wrong visa, Madonna was issued a cultural relations visa... But she really was supposed to have a work visa. Prosecutor's office hasn't ruled on this yet. But Madonna may have to give back a whole lot of cash. Yeah, but it's not her personally. She hires like 8,000 people to do this shit for her. So. Ipsy shimming messed it up. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm doing the poll one after this. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, all right. Uh, or you just want me to do the poll one? No. Okay. Uh, Tuesday is traditionally St. George's Feast Day in England. Yes! Spaghetti day. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> it's not cooked spaghetti day? No. no. Whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, yes, the guy who reportedly slew the dragon. I did not know St. George slew the dragon. He but did. Apparently he did. Marks the day he died in 303 AD. And the day is kind of like Independence Day in the U.S. And the Queen uh, always travels in a car that carries the silver mascot of St. George and the dragon. St. George and the dragon. Uh, nevertheless, there's no official celebration mar marking a day at the palace. In Eastern Europe, it's not the whole dragon slaying thing. It's a fertility celebration. For instance, in Ukraine... Oh, so slaying the dragon. Ha ha! <laughs> slaying the dragon. I see where you're going with that. For instance, in Ukraine, a priest blesses the newly sprouting crops, after which young married couples roll over the soil to promote the growth of crops. I think that's a metaphor. I don't think they got the fertilization. Yeah, well. No, this one's mine. Okay, go for it. Just because I want to read one. Uh, it looks like that overwhelming push for new gun control laws in the wake of December's elementary school shootings in Newtown just isn't there. A new USA Today poll puts the public desire for tougher gun laws now below 50% at 49 to 45. The figure in favor of new laws was at 55% in the NBC News Wall Street Journal poll earlier this month, down from 61% in February. 
And hey, the vast majority of Americans are apparently fed up with rising gasoline taxes. Two-thirds of those polled by Gallup oppose increasing gas taxes, even if it means the revenue would go towards improving roads and bridges. 66% of those surveyed say they are against the gas tax of up to 20 cents per gallon. With the money going to improve roads, bridges, and building more mass transportation, with uh, just 29% uh, support such an increase. Well, did you hear that Connecticut's gas tax is going up? Yeah. Again, it's going from like 6 point something to 8 point something now. Love the government here. Not Yay, so. let's take it in the ass once again. Yay. Yay. Oh, I'm reading this one because it has a hot chicken in it. It's true. Like anyone sifting through the wreckage of a bad night, Reese Witherspoon has apologized for the drunken behavior that got her arrested last Friday. Is there another woman in this story? Yes. Okay, Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Hey. Awesome. Hey. Matthew McConaughey is a hot chick. I clearly had one drink too many, said the little pixie actress in a statement yesterday. Like, who didn't call that one? The A-lister infamously yelled at Atlanta's finest for arresting her husband on a DUI and trying to play the do-you-know-who-I-am celebrity thing. Now, there's an old saying about that. If you have to utter those six words, the answer is obviously no. Right. Because that, that has been true for a very long time. If you have to say, do you know who I am, obviously no, they don't, nor do they care. Or they could go, yes, and I don't care. That's true. They the either don't know or they don't care. That just makes them want to arrest you more because then they're going to be famous within the precinct. Ha <laughs> ha. Stupid. Count it! The words I used that night definitely do not reflect who I am, continued the statement. I have nothing but respect for the police and I'm very sorry for my behavior. And I've got a movie coming up. She faced the music Sunday night when she attended the New York premiere of her movie, Mud, which is basically what she was in. Despite the drama, Reese smiled for the cameras and posed with co-stars Matthew McConaughey and Sarah Paulson, but refused to answer any questions. Let me tell you one thing. You're not the first actress to do something stupid, and nor will you be the last. And just like everything else, we're not going to care in like three days. Pretty much. Mm. Moving along. Did you know? No one cares about Madonna. Hey, Again. Neil Diamond is writing a song about the Boston Marathon bombing. He bum, told Rollingstone.com uh, that it's about uh, tragedy in general and how horrible things have happened in the last few years. Neil hopes to have the song recorded and mixed this week, but there's no release date for it yet. And if anyone in downtown Philadelphia Saturday night was wondering about the strangely familiar pattern of lights on the Cir uh, Sierra Center, here's your answer. They were giant-sized versions of the classic Atari game. Pong. That's awesome. That's right on the side of an office building. The game lights played out via LED lights on the 83,000 square foot facade of the 437 foot tall skyscraper. Uh, or 29 story skyscraper. Uh, with players controlling the action from across the uh, shoot kill. Shoot kill? School kill. School kill river. Oh, yeah, print out where it says print out school kill. <laughs> Lovely. Yay, man. Uh, the stunt to kick off City's Tech Week is the brainchild of Drexel game design professor Frank Lee. Another set of games takes place uh, took place on Wednesday. Uh, if they want to make it really impressive, they should do it with Space Invaders. That'd Just saying. Cool. That would be awesome. Hmm. Uh, yep. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of Neil Diamond, uh, he gave Red Sox fans a big thrill this past Saturday. He showed up at Fenway Park on his own to swing Sweet Caroline. Uh, 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 uh. Good times never seem so good, so good, so good, so good. Ah, yeah, you're losing it. Oh, you're supposed to do the oh, oh, oh. No, you're. Bum, bum, bum. There you go. Ba dum, ba dum. This is the prices right now. Yeah. Good lord. Anyways, uh, come home game eighth inning tradition since 2002, and Neil's getting darn tired of it. No, I'm kidding. Um, he he hates having to show up there every eighth inning. No, um. And having Neil I have nothing to do. Person was a real boost for the city. Uh, uh, to make the day complete, the Red Sox beat the Royals four to three. My turn. Oh, that was hard. oh, and this was great. Whoops. Yes. Normally, you'd expect the network, which let an f bomb go by in the daytime, house to be fined out the wazoo for an incident. Yes. In a moment of passion before Saturday's Boston Red Sox game with the Kansas City Royals, as previously mentioned. Boston slugger David Ortiz, known to locals as Big Poppy, dropped the F-bomb during a passionate pregame speech saying, this is our bleeping city and nobody's going to... Dictate our freedom. Yes. But none other than FCC Chairman Julius... Jenikowski. Uh, 
Yeah, that guy. Apparently decided to make an exception to the rule and later tweeted at FCC, David Ortiz spoke from the heart at today's Red Sox game. I stand with Big Poppy and the people of Boston. Julius. Case closed. Or what? Da, ba, ba, ba. Good times never. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. You that's what they should do for ever, ever Red Sox. It's not like. Da, da, da. It's. Ba, ba, ba. It seems much less worse than that. Than that. Than that. Than that. Okay. Uh, does anyone care about cat? Oh, by the way, speaking of swearing on the air, did you catch the, uh, the thing the other day? Where it was like some new station in North Dakota where the... <laughs> that poor... I feel... Oh, God. I feel his pain. All right. So for those and, of you... Oh, the poor guy. I made haven't... it big. Ah, oh, crap. In North Dakota. No, if you haven't seen it, it was like some North Dakota local NBC affiliate or yeah. something like that. Which they're not even high def yet. They're right. like barely in standard def from what I saw. Yeah. No, so it was some uh, some poor new, you know, uh, newscaster. What the, hell is, just... what the hell is his name? I don't even know. It's it's, here not, somewhere. it's not in this. I don't think it's anywhere in these news stories. I thought I just. Saw I was it. just thinking about while well, we were talking about the f bomb, so yeah, that crap. just made me think of it. Uh, so, anyways, he finally gets you know, uh, to the anchor desk. This is his first night on the anchor desk, and here is rule number one for television. We don't really care too much here because yeah, it's, really it's local access, and we can pretty much get away with just about damn near anything. Um, but. Uh, you always, always, always pretend your mic is open. Let you in on a little secret here. When it seems like we're not paying attention, we might not be. But we're, we're always pretending our mic is open. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Forever and always. Mm -hmm. If it's, it's you're open. sitting here 20 minutes before the show, you pretend your mic is open because it's been that way by accident before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, lo local access has a... Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, lo local television has many different and lesser rules than ye old broadcast and cable TV. Right. Well, the fact. Well, here the fact of the matter is, because we're not broadcast TV, it's yeah. cable. Yeah. Cable, you can get away with just about anything. The reason for that is, uh, it's not public airwaves. You actually right. have to. You actually have to pay for this crap. <laughs> you suckers. <laughs> Uh, Seriously, though. Yeah. Uh, since you have to pay for it, you can pretty much get away with just about anything language-wise. Um, you know, common decency generally applies, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I could have sworn there's a story on it. No. Uh, but anyway, so this brand new anchor in North Dakota. First he's, day. He's seen, first newscast by ever way, in his life. By the way, swear warning, look out, we got two swears. Back to back, double header, swear warning coming at you. So he's, it's like the, he's at the two anchor desk. And he's sitting, sitting there just looking down at his copy there. He's like, fucking shit. <laughs> and meanwhile, this guy is like, and yeah, welcome to the, you know, w, yeah. uh, KWCY News. Because if you haven't been in the business of all this television stuff, it can yeah. be, it's very new. It's like, okay, when she starts talking, because it's like, three, two, one, mics are on, off we go. And it's like, no, usually your mics are on for like, when you're at the count of five. Right. Five, four, three, fucking. Shit. You've yeah. been on the air for three seconds. You really have, but yeah. when you're brand new, you don't know that, and because ignorance is not bliss in that instance. To the other anchor's credit, she did not miss a beat. Yeah, she just went on because yeah. she's like, eh, maybe that didn't go over the air. And what you do in that situation, because you know he realized it because he was still looking down, he was like, oh. So tell us about yourself because we're never going to see you again. Oh, no. But the thing is, now he's got his 15 minutes of fame because yeah. he's like the shortest running anchor like in the planet. Right. He was at least first suspended right after that newscast. Oops. And a lot of people tweeted that they really felt bad for the dude yeah. because like his first but, time, his nerves, e even uh, the Today Show was talking about it, Matt Lauer and all yeah. that. It was like, first time you're ever going on air, your nerves are like an all-time high. You're just like ready to basically crap yourself because you're about to go on statewide television. Yep, pretty much. And do everything. Uh, and then he was fired that night. I don't think was he fired? He was fired. He was fired. Oh yes, he was. I thought he was suspended. No, he was fired. Ouch. Yeah. Because the only thing you can do right there is. But it's North Dakota. Only like nine people saw it because only eight people like live there. Yeah, but that's the Bible and, belt. Yeah, it's the oh, Bible yeah. belt. So yeah, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, no, the only thing you could possibly do is if you catch yourself doing that on like broadcast television, is you then and there have to do the mea culpa right there and then if you want to salvage anything. 
Yeah, but he, he probably didn't even know that he was on the air at that point or that it ever went over because he didn't know about the you're on the air. Like, the fact of the matter is, if he didn't know, then he should have been fired because he's too damn dumb to get on TV. Well, obviously at not. At that point, not only do you assume your mic's live at any time, but if someone starts talking uh, right after you and the cameraman look at you with a look of stunned silence, <laughs> you should <laughs> you should kind of put two and two together. You're like... Yeah, at that point. Fucking shit indeed. Welcome to the news. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you do the generic, oh, I apologize, I didn't realize well, that was the mic's on. completely inappropriate. It will, uh, it's my first night on the news. It will uh, never happen again. I didn't realize my mic was live, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, you, you, you can know. try to dig yourself out and you might just get away with the suspension. Right. But at that point, he just kind of tried to not miss a beat and continue on. Whoops, he did. Didn't Warning. quite work. This show will end in five minutes. There you go. Thank you, Scott. All right. No one cares about Kesha? Nope. No one cares about Avita? Nope. No one cares about Tanning Mom? No. No one cares about Steve Hirsch? And no one cares about the rest of the news. No. So, how Jay, about How about we find out what I learned today? <gasps> I want to find out what you learned today. Hmm. Yes, Jay? Aerodynamic Badger? What did I learn today? Well, let me tell you. Well, you want me to tell you what I learned today? I'd love that. <laughs> Great. I learned that you haven't quite determined the difference between anorexic and bipolar. I don't see it. <laughs> no, there's no, I, I don't, no difference I don't, there? There's really nothing for yeah. me. It, well, because I mean, it's like, you know, you get some. It, I'm just saying, I've yet to find a job that encourages you to be bipolar. Like, you know, modeling, going out to recruit anorexic people, do. I mean, it's like, what, what job What job would, like, recruit bipolar people? Telephone sex operators recruit bipolar people. Or just acting. That too. That really wouldn't work for, like, comedies. Or would it? That could be funny. That could be. That really could be. Funny. It would be like it would be like um, what is it? That one where he had Jim Carrey had multiple personalities. Me myself and Irene. Yeah, it could be like me myself and Irene. Oh, well, there you go. It's all the time. And you can shoot a cow. There you go. Or try to choke him. Sure. Jay, hmm. what did you learn today? There's a lot of things that you just cannot unsee in life. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever really been scarred by anything I've seen. Have you? Yes, and you've done half of them. No, no, that's just farts. You can't see. You can't see farts. Well, you can't see most of them, anyways. I can see you DDRing. That's true. I have seen you DDRing. That's true. I was scarred by that too, but only because I fell on a DDR pad. It was a really bad cut. But, <laughs> uh, you know, physically, mentally, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Hey, our website, nsls.tv. Check it, it out. It works again. It does. And NSLS. there's mobile and tablet versions. nsls.tv. And, of course, uh, facebook.com slash nslstv. True. youtube.com slash nslstv. And it's fairly updated now. twitter.com slash nslstv. Which is not updated at all. nslstv at gmail.com is our email address. Which we never use because no one emails us. You should email us. Well, you should email us. You right there, second from the left. Remember, local bands, show ideas, top three ideas. We'd love some top three ideas because, frankly, our brains hurt. True. My head is extra shiny. Today. Don't forget the midnight replay. It's so if you shine right about there. If you're drunk out of your mind or high as a kite, watch us at midnight. Ooh, midnight. And we'll replay. be even funnier. That is true. Now let's go with self-important Facebook posts. See, what else do we have from self-important Facebook posts? Pat might return next week. I think he might not. Who knows? I think he's supposed to be back next week. Meh. Hypothetically? Hypothetically. Yeah, he says a lot of things. Pat, yeah, I'm going to be back next week. I will be go. on the toe. Hey, MSL has posted tonight's uh, top three things you can't unsee. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome awkward. now. Awesome awkward? Uh, no, my brain's controlling the tablet again. Oh. Yeah, buddy. 
I need this soundtrack for my life. Uh, you already have it. I need more of this soundtrack for my life. Uh, this is what I hear every time. There's nothing good on Facebook except an NSLS TV. Uh, you can like us. If we like us. Uh, we'll put this in the background so you can just hear women moaning so all the time. Liking. I am really going to get to enjoy this. Uh.